Good morning, everyone. Welcome to um, the uh, module two of getting the grips on the basic on serving God. Um, Deacon Darrow is your senior instructor. We have Mother Marcella here, which is the uh, chaplain uh, for the TLA. I just want to, for the for the record here, just wanted to um, announce that when you guys receive a package from me in the mail in reference to the TLA, to please contact me via phone or text message or even email, whichever way is easy for you guys. Let me know that you did receive the package. And I am asking for you guys to follow the directions on the package and um, send back the information to me as soon as possible. All right, once again, once you receive the package from me in the mail, please let me know um, that you received it and go ahead and follow the directions on the package. And without further ado, we're going to have uh, Mother Chaplain Marcella open us up in prayer and Senior Instructor Deacon Darrell will go ahead and take on this lesson. Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day, Heavenly Father. I give you all the praise and all the honor, Heavenly Father. I thank you, Lord, for just being you, Lord, and free our minds and our hearts, Lord. Concentrate on you, Lord, and I thank you for it. And I thank you for our apostle and our first lady, Lord. Just give us the wisdom and the power, Lord, to free us, Lord, and give us this word, Lord, and just us for everything that we need of you, Heavenly Lord Father. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. 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 Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, it's so good to see everyone here. Um, it is the first day of the second module. Um, getting the grip on the basics of serving God. Um, I was hoping that everyone were able to, once they got their books, to dig in and to see what we're up against. And I noticed that we have a lot to read. There was a lot to read. So uh, what I'm going to do is read the first page, and uh, but then we're going to get right into it because this first page, it gives us a overall view of the first, the first chapter. So without further ado, I'm going to begin. <clears throat> what does it mean to serve God? Why would, why would you want to serve God? What is the purpose of serving God? How and where should we serve the Lord? What type of service does God want? We know God doesn't want mindless robots or clones who just do their master's bidding out of some sort of duty or obligation. He wants sons and daughters to under, understand their part in his great plan and who are equipped to serve him from a heart of love and passion. In order to serve God acceptably, we need to have the big picture. We need to see things from God's perspective. We need God's vision. We need to get God's heart. Let us begin our study of the big picture by looking at a jigsaw puzzle illustration. Have you ever put together a 10, no, a 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle? Me personally, no. I don't dig puzzles, but... Do you remember how small those pieces were? Do you remember how overwhelming it seemed? What did you do first? Did you study the box top right? Is it important? It's important that you have a clear understanding of what this jigsaw puzzle is supposed to look like to be successful. Perhaps the first thing you did was to begin to build was to get specific puzzle pieces in position. Did you search for the four corner pieces first? Those four pieces are important keys to building your puzzle. The border or edge pieces are vital pieces as well. Those pieces need to be in place to be, no, that needs to be in place to effectively build your puzzle. Then the important process of connecting groups of pieces together begins until you have enough groups to begin chirping, lumping, excuse me, lumping the puzzle together. Every piece is important, 
one missing piece ruins the whole puzzle. Did you know that there is a great parallel in that our lives are pieces in God's big jigsaw puzzle? How and where do we fit? This, is, this will be our focus as we study getting a grip on the basics of serving God. Imagine God has an internal jigsaw puzzle with billions of pieces. Your life is a big, is a piece of God's jigsaw puzzle. You fit somewhere. Your life has a specific function and purpose. Your life makes God's jigsaw puzzle complete. Jesus is the chief corner piece. The prophets, the apostles, and disciples of both the Old and New Testaments have served as the other corner pieces and numerous borders, border and edge pieces. Their service to God has given us the foundation and perimeter around which the jigsaw puzzle of God is being built. So what about you and me? Where do we fit? Likely we are centerpieces. And by necessity, we must connect we must be connected to other pieces in God's puzzle. Your piece is vital, and God's puzzle won't be the same without you. However, in order for you to be effective in finding and fulfilling your place in God's puzzle, you need vital information. What information do you need? You need to know that the box top, what the box top looked like. You, you need to study the box top. It is important that you have a clear understanding of what God's jigsaw puzzle is supposed to look like if you are to be successful in your place. Have you ever wondered what the box top to God's great puzzle, jigsaw puzzle looks like? What type of picture is he developing? God has revealed this box top. His big picture view is in the word. Let's look at a few foundational scriptures regarding what the box top looks like. Section, section A. Hold on, let me get situated here. That don't look right, don't feel right. Section A. We're going to discover that the church is front and center of God on God's jigsaw puzzle box top. Did you know the church is God's headquarters on earth Everything God is doing these days on planet Earth, he is doing in and through his church. We'll look at God's definition of church in this lesson. But for now, keep in mind that we are, we are not necessarily talking about brick and mortar buildings. We are talking about the people who make his church. God is not that interested in church monuments. He's interested in, in overseeing a church movement. It is, it is an exciting time to be a part of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Through his church, Jesus is doing marvelous things around the world. He is raising up churches with global, national, regional, and local influence in every nation. Jesus loved and is building his church now. Thank you very much for allowing me to read that. I got to catch a breath. Ooh. Let us look at the value and priority God places on his church, on the church in this age. First question, we'll be dealing from Matthew 16 and 18. The question is, what did Jesus say he will do? On this rock, I will build my church. Whoop. You go ahead, Sister Early. Yes, he did. <coughs> yes, he did. Valerie what can't did... get in. I don't know what the problem is. Excuse me? No, I she's in, she's... sis. She, she's in. Uh -huh. Oh, well, she just texted me. Good morning. <laughs> there you go. That's what she's looking out. She's looking, <laughs> she looking out. She's looking out for her best friend. She's looking out. That's it. Uh, she's she's like, out. I need to know the problem. <laughs> My best friend can't get in here. Uh, Y'all better <laughs> figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> Since the early was on it too. Whoa. She was. She sure was. Mm. I love it. I love it. Look I out. I know that's right. Friend. I know that's right. 
All right, folks, what did Jesus say the devil will not do? Prevail against it. The, the, the what of what shall prevail, shall not prevail? The gates of hell. That's it, Sister Val, how you doing? All right, I read it. I know that's right. Your girl was over here. She was advocating for you. Hold on. Let me get to the valve. Let me send this information to her. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you, Sister Val, for that. Uh, today, Jesus is focused on building his church. Through his church, he ministers to believers and through them to the world. Notice that the enemy is fixed on fighting the church, but he won't prevail. Glory, he won't prevail. Jesus. Amen. The picture on God's puzzle box top is the building of his church. It's that simple. We're going to go into Ephesians um, 5, 5 um, 25 through 27. What type of church does God want wants presented? Want presented? Mm -hmm. He wants a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. Amen, Amen. Mother. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that. Is everyone else in agreement with that? Yes. Amen. All right. Moving forward. We're going to... Um, Jesus loved the church. And his job is to present himself a glorious church at his coming. Isn't that amazing? Jesus isn't coming back for a weak, divided, strife-filled, back, backsliding, slitting, backbiting, confused, and chaotic church. He's coming back for a glorious church. And we are pieces in that church. I don't know about you, but I just call it a feeling of like, yes. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yes. Number three, we're going to go through Ephesians uh, chapter three, verses 10 through 12. What is God's plan for the church? What is God's plan? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. The manifold wisdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So in other words, Jesus is using his church to display the manifold wisdom of God to the angelic and demonic world. Imagine that. Thank you, Sister Narisha, for that. Uh, moving forward to number four, Colossians uh, 1 and 18. What is, what is Jesus the head of? Body the church. Huh? The body, the church. Amen. Amen. Yes, Sister Bell. Is everyone else in agreement with that? Amen. 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 Number five, Ephesians um first chapter, verses 22 and 23. What is Jesus the head over? All oh, things, church. All things church all things church that's what my bible says okay no i'll just i just didn't hear you that's oh, what okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah yeah i just didn't hear you i'm old i can't hear you well, I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna claim that over all things and i wrote down government uh galaxies the universe no name or no power is everything 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 yeah. amen everything Amen. Everything. <laughs> All right. Um, the Message Bible paints a vivid picture of the preeminence of Jesus and his and his church in Ephesians 1. God raised him up, raised him from death, set him on the throne in deep heaven, in charge of running the universe, everything from galaxies, governments, it's about said it so plain and clear, no names, no powers except from his rule, and not just
for the time being, but forever. Ever. He is in charge. Wait, hold up. He is in charge of it all. Has the final word on everything. At the center of all this, Jesus ruled the church. The church you see is not peripheral mm, to the world. The world is per, 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 Help me out. I said it. I know. That is a tongue twister. What? what? <laughs> I'm surprised I said it the first time. It's all right. You're not the only one. Okay. Um, the church, okay, we gotta go. We know what that word is. The church is Christ's body, in which speaks in the acts by which he fills everything with his presence. Okay. All right. Now. This is for those who wasn't quite on in the beginning, what we're going to do, what I want to do. I'm going to call someone out and I want them to read because I noticed that there was a lot to read. So what I'm going to do is have uh, uh, Sister Narisha, if we're going to, before we dive in any further, let's define our terms. Now, Sister Narisha, I would like for you to read um, the church, the area where it speaks on the church. Sure. Well, let me go back there. Okay. So <clears throat> the Greek word for the for church in the New Testament is <laughs> Ekelesa. Alexia. Alexia. Wait, come over here. Come over here. Let me see if you could pronounce this word. Come over here, real quick. Come here. I'm going to get my scholar over here. See if you could pronounce this word. What's this word? Ecclesia. Oh, Ecclesia. oh that sounds like it is, huh? You go, son. <laughs> you go ahead, man. <laughs> okay, the Greek word for church in the New Testament is Ecclesia, which means calling out concretely a proper meaning especially a religious congregation jewish synagogue or christian community of members on earth or saints in heaven or both in other words we could paraphrase by simply saying that the church is called out of group of people that gathered for good god's purpose when Jesus says he built his church, he, what, he, what is he saying? He is continually calling out those who follow him, who will, who will identify with his cause and gather together for God's purpose. We see two dynamics related to the church. There is a global universal church and there is a local church and there are local churches. Look at both at look at both of these. Thank you, Sister Narisha. Um, Sister Erlene, what you doing right now? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great answer. That was a beautiful answer. But I'm calling you. I would love for you to read Global University Church of Jesus Christ, that whole paragraph right there. I would love for you to read that. And I think everyone else would like to hear from you too. So if you don't mind. The first paragraph only. <clears throat> yeah, just, yeah just, the, just the first part. Just that first call okay. from, from the beginning to the end where the last word is God. Okay. All right. <sighs> you got this. Amen. <laughs> you got this. This world includes all believers around the world who have been called out to become Christians. Those who identified with Jesus Christ, calling him Lord, and those who are in his body. The church around the world, the global church, is made up of all types of people. People from every kind, kindred, tribe, language, and nation that call on Jesus as Lord. Revelation 5, 9. The global universe church the universal church is made up of various denominations and groups of believers, believers who confess Jesus as Lord. 
esteem his blood as the only blood of redemption and accept the Bible as the inerrant, inerrant, infallible word of the living God. Amen. Thank you so much. I don't know why he was nervous. Um, but thank you so much, uh, Sister Erlene. Uh, Sister Val, can you read that the next uh, paragraph? And okay. read it from the global all the way to good works, which be on the other page. Whenever okay. you're ready. All right. I don't have I love my glasses, but I'll do. The global universe church is being led and built by Jesus as the head of the church through the Holy Spirit. He is building his church by helping each believer mature and fulfill his or her place in his body. He is calling, anointing, and appointing men and women to serve in spiritual leadership roles by his delegated authority. And he is gifting every member of the body of Christ with various graces to serve in building up the body. Each part must do this work. All of this summarized in Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. It was he who gave some to the apostles, some to, the, to be a prophet, some to be evangelists, some to be pastors and teachers to prepare God's people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fulfill the wholeness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by cunning and craftiness of men in their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will all, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is Christ. From him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. NIV, the summary is that the global universe church is called to exalt God, evangelize the world and edify one another until love and good work. Thank you, Sister Val, for that. Um, ooh. That was something, um, you had read something, and I just want, um, I want us to kind of understand that uh, what you had read um, earlier, that we all should, we all should at one point or another, really kind of take this into, not even to consideration, but something that we should kind, we should read every day. I say every day, and I'm including myself, is that this will always remind us of um, that we are, that we do have the power. And what I'm saying, what I mean is that you had read, um, when you was reading Ephesians 4, 11 through 16, there was an area where mm -hmm. it said, it said, um, Prepare God's people for works of service uh, so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, obtaining the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Then we will no longer be infants. Mm. That we will be no longer infants tossed back and forth by the way. Yes. Not letting any little thing throw us off on the path that we are on right now. Amen. Um, 
It says here, back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of men in this deceitful scheming. Yes, I underlined that. You did? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Because, yeah. You know, we want to be wise in him. Right. And one of my prayers is that, you know, God grant me the wisdom for today that I can see, you know, those schemes and that I can prepare on how to have the wisdom to deal with that, you know, because today you just don't know the heart of man. You just don't. You schemes just don't. For those that are unsaved. Amen. Even those that are saved. Well, I, okay. Yeah. When you know I what I'm saying? Because unsaved, I understand what you're saying. <laughs> Because those that are saved are not going to do that. I question, I, it's a question. It's a for question. Those that are saved. It's a right. question. I only say that is because, you know, if they're not where they are, the enemy is going to use whomever. And that's just it. We've not prayed up. We don't have our word. That's right. Yes, we will. That's so right. I, I will right. rephrase that and not yes. use them being unsaved because they right. are saved. Right. So, and, that's all. <laughs> but no, because, you know, we have, we have saints. We have them in, and if you ever notice, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, please, please understand, I'm not, I'm not, because I am no way in no position to even think like this. But at times we do have, we do have saints, maybe because they don't know, or maybe, you know, they know, or, you know, some people, it's like, you do something and it may be a little difficult because you're not used to it. So you tend to fall back on what you're used to doing. Right. And instead of moving forward and trying just, you know, breaking through sometimes when the apostle would speak and he would say that we have to break through, we have to break through those barriers and some Amen. people may not be strong enough. So that's when the to and fro may come from. That's, okay. that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what I'm saying. Cause yeah. for me, for me, there's certain areas in my life that I'm still trying to like, I'm, I, I get nervous because, you know, whenever I would go through it, it's like I would feel some type of way, but I'm at a point where at least I'm trying to break through. Amen. Before, if early in my, my this, this walk, I wouldn't even attempt it. I wouldn't even attempt it. It was too hard. I cry and the Lord just had me sitting there crying. And, and, and hey, I give it to you. I gave it to you. It's up to you to go ahead and do. It. So one day I just wind up doing it. So you break you, you break through just a little bit just to to be able to swatch. Now you know you see okay. the enemies so understand. All right, I yeah. let go. I okay. let go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so just I can't like use me. That anymore? I will not use that anymore. Okay. Amen. Amen. Um, I'm gonna read. Uh, the look what no I ain't no I ain't reading that but um what else we got up on here um mother Bruton feel like doing something for me okay uh let's can you read the end that the last paragraph the whole thing the local church of Jesus Christ okay uh this would be the local representation of the global universal church in any particular town, village, or city. This is the microscopism of the global church, the segment of those called out to follow Jesus Christ. The local church is front and center on God's priorities. It is in the local church that Christ's body is being up on a daily and weekly basis in millions of locations around the world. God is not the author of confusion, but of decency and order. And, and in his word, he has established the way local churches should operate to be effective in their God-designed mission. The primary overseer in a local church is a pastor, founding, lead, or senior pastor. This person has been called by Jesus, the chief shepherd. 
and has been placed into an office of ministry, depending upon its size, in addition to the God called founding senior or lead pastor, a local church may have other pastors, administrators, or leaders who assist in leadership and management. The church members, believers, are called to come alongside the lead pastor and work together to fulfill the vision and function of a local church. We will see more about the flow of spiritual authority in the church in later chapters. Amen. Thank you, Mother Ruby, for that. I really appreciate that. Um, we're going to go to section B now. You have a place in the church. We've gotten a glimpse of the, the box top, but now we need to realize that we truly are pieces in God's jigsaw puzzle. It is vital that we understand where we fit. The good news is that we don't have to position, wait, no, let me backtrack. The good news is that you don't have to position yourself. God positioned us. All right, um, first question in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 18, what does God do for every member of the church? I, I have, but now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he please. Amen. Sister, Sister Erlene, I heard you, you trying to trying to speak up. What was your answer? God, God arranges each member okay. as he pleases. Amen. Amen. Can any, does anyone else have anything different? If so, speak. If not, say amen. 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 All righty. God. What? Who said that? I did. What's oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. She said, arrange the members basically in the body as he chooses. That's you all right with that? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Um Jesus places Jesus places us in the body of Christ, the church, as it pleases him. He is the head of the church. Our job is to cooperate with his times, seasons, and wisdom as he places and position us, positions us. Our job is to understand as much as we can about his top, no, his box top, and flow with his plan as he builds his church. Question number two, in 1 Corinthians, same chapter, chapter 12, verse 12 through 27, how would you summarize the discussion in this passage of, of the church as the body and each member having an important part? I had to write a note on that. Can I try? You can, yes, you may. Yes, okay. you may. So um, for me, what I thought is that um, that we are all one with God and that um, we are baptized by, you know, his spirit. And after that being said, is that God, God, set, God set, us, um, set us in a place where he appoints us to be here. Um, apostles and teachers and miracle miracle workers and healing and government and so basically is that once we choose to follow God and we decide you know what church we're gonna be a part of he gives us the tool that we need to 
to be um, helpful in the community. He, he puts us in high places where, you know, our talent just don't go to waste. He, um, he gives us, I don't know, he, he, he just, he, he sets us up basically to prosper in life. I don't know Amen. if I said it. I don't know no, you, you, no. I appreciate what you of uh, your explanation was that your summarized summary <laughs> on that right there. I really do because it, it was hitting key points. Um, you hold that thought, and I'm gonna ask: Does anyone else? Because this is, it's, it's, it's everyone saying something different. As long as it's lining up, then you know we, we, it's, it's good. But I would like to ask: Does anyone else? Uh, can anyone else? Give me a summary on uh, what was said in the passage on the church as a body and each member having an important part. This is from 1 Corinthians 12, uh, mm -hmm. chapter 12, verse 12 through 27. So in those, between those passages of scripture, can we get the summary for, you know, church as a body and each member having an important part? I wrote, I'm sorry, Mother, go ahead. Oh. Are you saying something, Mother? Go ahead, Sister Val. Okay. Um, I wrote down um, the body the body needs each part to function for specific things to do. Mm -hmm. um, like the hand to pick up things, the leg to get, to get us to walk. Mm -hmm. So um, as the church, we need each member or like leadership right. um, to do its part, the pastor, the teacher, all of those. To function for Christ. Uh -huh. I, I didn't even finish that last time to function for Christ, but that's what I have. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Does anyone uh, else have anything I, to? Uh, I have for. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Go ahead, Mother. For one, for by one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. We all need each other to yeah. offer God's church with decency and order, yeah. to care for each other and treat each other the same, regardless of title, and support Amen. each other. Amen. Amen. Well, I was gonna say about the same thing that Broken said about we all, the body of Christ, we okay. all that as one or on one accord with Christ Jesus. Right. Right. All right. You know what? I, I'm not even going to tell you what I said. Because your answers were better than mine. <laughs> Come on. I ain't going to mess with y'all. I'm not going to mess with y'all. Your answers was like right on. No, I'm dude. telling you from say, Sister Lurk. From, from Sister Narisha, Sister Val, from Mother Bruton, and Mother Marcella. Mother, I ain't messing yeah, with y'all. I, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Not fair. OK, what? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, because as soon as Sister, Sister Early says not fair, I just like, OK. You know, you know how you, 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 you <laughs> That's you, right. She came out of her comfort zone. You know how, you know how when, when, when someone speak and, and they mean a lot, you know, to you, and and, and they say something and put your head down. You can't <laughs> Ricky, start rubbing your forehead. All right, so early, I'm gonna hear what I hear what you saying. Now, what I put down, see, I I I, I put down. <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't matter what or who the member is, whether it's the hand, the eye, the nose, the ear. God knows each God knows each <clears throat> each member's role and it's he who puts 
the members together to work and function as one. That's what I put. And what's wrong with that? That's yeah, good, that's dude. I, I understand, but like I said, you know, um, the, the, the answers that each one of you gave and you could just clump it together and that was it right there. So, you know, I couldn't add on to what was said. That's all. That's all I was saying. I was going to even read from the, I was, you know what? I was going to even read. Oh God. I'm like Sister Val. I don't got my glasses. I can't see nothing. Hold on. I found but mine. I, I, oh, gee, I can't get up right now. Uh, <laughs> but I was, I was going to read because I think what it was, Mother Bruton was saying something and it hit me. When I was reading this earlier, it said, give me a, folks, give me a few, give me a minute. So, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Um, from 22 to, 20, verse 22 and 22 and 26. When, when, when um, Mother Bruton was, was reading her response and it came to me, what was it, 22? No, actually let's do, it was from 23. From 23 to 26. Um, verse 23 and on those parts of the body that we think less honorable we bestow the greatest honor yeah and our unpresentable parts are treated with greater modesty which are which are more presentable parts do not require but God has so compose the body, giving greater honor to the part that lacks it, that they may be no division. That's it. That there may be no division in the body, but the bot, but the members may have the same care for one another. If one member suffers, all suffer together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. Amen. Amen. That just, you know, it just came to me. That's why I was trying to use that so I can't say mine. But everybody <laughs> double team me, triple team me, quadruple team me. So I had to say it, but I was going to say that right Amen. there. Amen. I thank you for bringing that out. See, Sister Val, that was one of the things that I was saying that I had to break through. You know, Amen. and that right there helped me to go through. Thank you, Sister uh, Early and everyone else. Amen. That jumped me. That jumped me. <laughs> All right, we're going to move forward. <clears throat> um, let me see. Number three, First Peter, second chapter, verse five. First Peter, second chapter, verse five. God is building a spiritual house, his church. What are we called? A holy priesthood. Amen. Who said that? Who said that? Sister Erlene, you said that? No, Sister Val said it. But okay, I I'm, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Why you ain't want to take the credit? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the line. <laughs> I oh, said you had to lie. You just could have, you know. Oh, have mercy. Oh, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> listen. Wait a minute now. To the valve, knocking the screen, tapping it like somebody hit. Can you hear me? I, um, I, I, I do that to get the, uh, um, you know, to mute myself because um, sometimes the people oh, here okay. participants I'm sorry. get loud. So oh. I don't want the background noise to happen. Oh, oh, okay. I got you. Good looking up. Miss Janet. <laughs> don't say it too loud. She don't say it too loud. Yeah, hear it. No. And the she folks can get loud. Oh, for real? Don't you don't want the folks to get loud. <laughs> you don't want you don't want the folks to get loud because they, yeah, they, they just I look, I look, I know that, I know that feeling. Mm. That I know. 
Okay, does anyone else have anything for that? Uh, first, first Peter uh, chapter 2, verse 5. God is building a spiritual house, his church. What are we called? Sister Val, what you said again? Let me write that down. You said a what? A spiritual priesthood? Holy. A holy, holy. priesthood. Holy. Okay. I knew it was something. Holy priest. Amen. Priesthood. Now, there, there could be something else added to that. I, I just, that's why I asked. If anyone had anything else that, that they want to add to. I just put a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. Amen. A spiritual um, house? Yeah. It can be said. It can be said. Well, let me find first Peter. Now, the only reason why, because I, I said I saw something different, but it's going to coincide with... Uh, Sister Erlene said, and Sister Val said. Um, hold on. First Peter. Okay, First Peter. Way back here. First Peter. There we go. Um, let me see. Chapter 5. I mean, verse 5. Okay. Now, I had, I had. Verse five, you yourselves like living stones that are built up as spiritual houses, Sister Erlene, to a holy priesthood, Sister Val. So when the question was, what are we called? You yourself like living stones. I put down living stones, but it all coincides to the scripture. You, we have different different versions of the scripture but you put all three answers that we had was that was it i i just wanted to add that in there thank you sister val and uh thank you um thank you dude. sister early because i'm writing down spiritual songs too oh okay Oops. that's how we learn you put down what you add on building mm -hmm. your faith all right uh number four jeremiah uh, <laughs> chapter 3 verse 15 what does God promise he will do no he will give you Jeremiah 3 chapter 3 verse 15 what does God promise he will give you pastor according to um, to God's heart which will feed you knowledge and understanding Ooh, that's it right there. I don't have to say no more about it. Does anyone else have it? Are in agreement with that? Yes. Okay. Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Narisha. You said that with some bold confidence. Bang. Oh. Bang. oh. That's what my pastor do. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Um, Psalms 92 verses 13 and 14. What does the Bible say about those who are planted in God's house? Yes. What does the Bible says about those who are planted in God's house? Those, uh, those who are planted in God's house no, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. Amen. You go ahead, mother, with your knowledge and wisdom voice. <laughs> <laughs> you go right ahead. Anyone else? Uh, anyone else? Well, no, actually, is everyone in agreement with uh, what Mother Bruton had just, had just spoke on? Amen. Amen. Can I get another amen? Amen. amen. Amen, amen. amen. <laughs> All right, we're moving forward. Uh, wait a minute now. Let me ask you this question. How would you define planted? I just put secured. Oh, you know what? That's it. That's it. Who else? We're not, we could roll off of this one. We got secure and stable. Fixed. 
in a position fixed. Oh, there you go, um, fixed. Yes, yes. In, in position, that's four. We can roll now. Well, I thought of rooted because you know how oh, it's that's kind right. of rooted. There you go. That's, mm -hmm. rooted. that's right. Yes. That it's not going to bend or move. That's right. Yeah, like the cedar tree. That's yeah. right. Ooh, anybody else? <laughs> Cause we can roll off of that. See, I concrete. put down cemented. You put concrete. concrete. When you said con you said yep. a concrete that can't move. Yep, yep. I said I said I said <clears throat> um, concrete. Amen. That's beautiful. Everybody was flowing on that one. That's how everyone would define uh, planted yeah. in place. Planted. Uh, number six. Hebrews 10 and 25. What are we not to neglect? I like this. I like this. I, yes. I like this. What are we from Hebrews 10 and 25? What are, no, what are we not to neglect? Uh oh. I like that one. Hmm. Um, I put the assembling of our house, but I don't think I really understand the question. That, the how to that's answer. That's all. That's that's, that's, that's the answer. That's that, what, I do not understand it. No, so I'm, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. I, you know, that's how Dick do. That's how I do. I do it in love. I do it in love. I love every. You know, I love y'all. But yo, that's that's it. That's it. That's that's what I got. And it, I, my answer is not written in stone, but I just got it from, from the scripture. Anyone else? Yeah, um, my version, I'm sorry. I have the ESV version and it talks about meeting together and encouraging one another. And See, that's what we're doing every time we come together. That's right, that's right. See, cause you could have one answer, Sister Narisha, which I have, but then I have also, um, to encourage one another. Now, I even add something else to that, and I put down strengthening one another. Amen. You know what I'm saying? So, so go ahead, Amen. mother. I have uh, not. Is someone speaking? Okay. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as is right. the man of some. But exhausting one another, exhausting. Uh, and so much the more as you see the day approaching. Amen. Mm -hmm. Exalting, exalting. You know what? <clears throat> Real quick, like Sister Val said, when we come together, when we come together on these Saturdays, and we 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 we're speaking. It's not the fact of you know just giving our answers. But basically what we've done at this question, I think it was one other question that everyone just start flowing with an answer that basically helps one another, you yeah. know, to build up, you know, because okay. we can have one answer. We got two, three, four more answers. We can clap that together. And that's an understanding that a group of people have. It may seem small, but it's, it's major. It's major in the development of serving God. Amen. 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 Something before you move on, Dean. What's up? Ooh, right, I'm sorry. So, so, <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Um, so my Bible that I use to do this class, right, is actually a, a life principle Bible. And at the end of it, it um, you know, some Bible gives you other verse, other chapters where you could reference to that scripture or that passage that you read. So at the bottom of mine, it also have a life lesson. And on that scripture, it says, it is crucial for believers to gather for corporate worship, instruction, encouragement, and service. God simply did not design us to go it alone. In our Christian faith or grow in isolation, our participation in a local church not only protects our personal fellowship with the Lord, but it's also vital aspect to how he mature us and transform us into his image. Amen. Well, you just have to break that down, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to break that thing down for us. Thank you, Sister 
Ooh. I just saw it. So I was like, I just had to Excuse read me. it. You know, you know. That's good. It's good. You know what? If, <laughs> if, if you were glad to go ahead and see that, you saw that, that touched you. I'm so happy. But you just broke that thing down. That's all. <laughs> you broke it down. <laughs> yes, you did. All right. We're going to move forward. I'm, I'm loving the vibe this morning. It's very encouraging <clears throat> to the vibe that we had just developed. And um, now I'm gonna ask you a question. I'm gonna ask a question. This is this is a personal. This is I wouldn't say a personal, but I'm gonna ask you a question anyway. You tell me if you how you ever you feel. Can you see that skipping church? is a habit for some. See, that sounds personal to me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Woo! I was scared to ask you. Look at this early. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Go, go ahead, Sister Val. Go ahead. I remember some of those starship days, and I'm telling you, and I'm driving, let alone to drive home was a challenge. But in my heart and in my spirit, I wanted to be a courage. Uh -huh. And so I, I, to answer that question, I said, I can't see because I want to be there. You yeah. So yeah. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't answer that question. How could somebody want to just skip it? I want to be there because I want to be in the presence of God. Not right. that, um, you know, only in that building because we are the church, but just right. being there. I want to get everything I can, right. how I can. Right. I couldn't answer that one. How could you skip it? Right. I have a problem with it when I do. Right. How you feel? How you feel when you not, 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 okay, that's all I have to say. Anyone else? Yes. Anyone else? Well, well I know like go ahead, sister. Go ahead, sister Early. Oh, I thought she was saying something more. No, no go ahead. No. I, I know. Maybe take my scarf off. It it uh okay like i know when um uh, one time when i didn't go to church and i could have mm -hmm. gone mm -hmm. and i just didn't go you know mm -hmm. it can lead to like a habit forming thing mm -hmm. and it's like yes. um you want to be there um at first it's like you want to be there and then you just feel so um uh, what's the word i'm looking for blah, blah. Blah. Okay. About not being there. But then the next time it becomes easier. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it becomes easier to skip. Like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know? Yeah. And, and then things will start happening uh, to you, you know, in your mm -hmm. life and stuff. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? You're opening okay. yourself up. To all kinds of uh, stuff, right? Demonic, right? Things, spiritual, right. you know, <coughs> right. all kinds of stuff. Yes, right. Um, I love that what you had said so early because you know what you were saying is that, like, say the first time you don't go, you know, you do feel some type of way, but then the following mm -hmm. week, go oh, here comes Saturday night. Sunday morning and you just it does become easier once yeah. you allow the enemy that space he start mm -hmm. pushing a wedge he start pushing that wedge and, 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 and the more he pushes the wedge the further apart you you know you become yeah. and yeah. just like you said when that when it gets to that point you know things start happening in your life and you're wondering hey, we, we see it demonic you know um, the enemy is working. He's at work. Um, yeah. But then we're at that point where we're like, now it's a struggle. Yeah. Just to think about coming to church. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. It's a yes. struggle. Yes. So then it's like, for me, I need it. I, I'm not saying I'm a, you know, I'm, I just need it, period. Even when we, when we had the, uh, the virtual in the beginning, uh, when it hit last year, and then we were able to meet at the church, even though we were outside. Yeah. I needed that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I needed to Amen. see all of you. I needed to see all of you. Every Amen. time I saw one of you coming through, I ran over there. 
Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it, it didn't even matter. Apostle, I'm, I'm glad y'all didn't tell on, tell on me. But apostle could be preaching. Y'all be coming. I run right over there. How you doing? Yeah. You know, you know it's good to see you. Because I, I, no, I, I, I needed that. Because for me, we're coming into a place of oneness. Everyone's coming in for the same thing. To get more from God. Amen. We're not there just to be doing something. We're getting something from God. Amen. So then when that was going on for a while, I was just, I, ooh, I was just like, you know, I mean, even when we tried to go inside, we we're back inside for a minute. I just, it was just, so then when, you know, we get that executive order, Pastor said, we're going back virtual. I'm like, oh God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm like, okay. All right. All right. But we have this class. <coughs> Excuse me. We have this class. <coughs> Excuse me. We have this class. We have Bible study. Well, I'm not able to do Bible study because I'm asleep. But we have this class. Um, we have time that we can come together. And um, I look forward to it. Um, the class before was a learning experience for me. And knowing that, just like you said, Sister um, Erlene, you know, he had those demonic forces working and yep. he was working, you know, when you have people like Sister Val praying, constantly feeling it and, and just praying us through, you know, that's, that's, that's one of the benefits of oneness and when people coming together and building up that oneness. So that yep. question kind of scared me a little bit because I looked at it as it may be personal, but I'm glad yep. everyone saw it where they feel basically the same way, you know, without meeting up how they felt. And everybody, for the most part, felt the same. They didn't feel right. You know, we need to come together. Amen. We need to come together. We're not set Amen. to, just like it's set up in the, in the word here. Amen. God has set up the church for us to come together, for us to gain knowledge, for us to build on his precepts, and for us to go out and tell everybody else. The Amen. beauties and the wonders of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now, you know, Amen. Something when we Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. pastor had asked the church outside, you know, if we we wanted to go in or if we wanted to do virtual. Now, I'm the only one who said ah virtual. And I felt like, oh man, to see the expression on his face, it bothered me because I thought of the COVID you know, and how it yeah. was at that particular time. And everything mm -hmm. in my being was saying, no, let's do virtual. And so I had to go to pastor and tell him, look, pastor, I'm sorry. I don't want to go against you because I'm your team player. Mm -hmm. I, it's just that this COVID thing, this is why I feel the way I do. And right. he looked at me and said, I didn't think nothing of it. But before I could go to him, it had been a whole week that had gone by and I'm yeah. telling you, I beat myself up by that yeah. because I uh, didn't we do that. But I knew I wanted us to be together, but not at that particular time. Right. So, you know, um, but I had to go and tell him, you know, this is how I feel. I don't love you any less or just because we right. disagree, you know, or right. anything like that. Right. And so, and he, like I said, he just looked at me and said, I didn't think nothing of it. Right. And I'm like, Thank you, Lord, you know, in that particular in that time. Particular time. Yeah. Uh, amen. Amen. Because that's, you know, um, I don't know. I was just thinking about something that when you were saying that, and that's the way how the enemy tends to, you know, he's real subtle. And, yes, and he, he, he had you, he had you twisted all week. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and this. <laughs> <laughs> Man, to sleep. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to sleep any differently. You know, here I come. Yes. And yes. I'm thinking, oh, no. Yes. You know, it was such a relief. And I'm yes. so grateful and thankful for yes. that. Yes. But see, the thing is, the thing that you did was as soon as you saw him and the opportunity came, you went right to him. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You went right to him. Now, Unfortunately, people may not have gone, have done that and allow it to fester. 
Oh, no. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that right there, when you did that, you know, you set the enemy like, oh, look, I'm going to speak to my apostle. Yeah, I'm, going to, I'm going to get the answer. I'm going to get the answer. And and your his answer made you feel good knowing that, not saying it didn't bother him, but it made you feel good saying like, oh, you know, you shouldn't have worried. But, you know, we, we as human, we would let, you know, at that mm -hmm. moment, you just like, because I would have done, I, mm, I would have been the same way. It would have bothered me to a point. It would have, you know, I would have called them up. Hey, 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 sir. Um, let me call you. Let, let me talk to you for a minute. Um, you know, I thought about that though, D. You should have yeah. Because see me, I, I would have been like, he would have bothered me. I was like, hold up, man. I can't do this. I would have texted him. See, I, you know, I'm up during when everybody's sleeping. I'm up. So it's like, I got to wait. So, you know, but I would have texted him up. And, and, and he would have texted me back or he would have called me. Dick, what you talking about? You know, we had that discussion, da 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 D, don't worry about it. You sure? He's like, all right, all right. Have a good one, peace. I would have hung up and just left it alone. But we still do. It don't matter when we do it, as long as it's done. As long yeah, as it's done. You don't want to ever feel as though you're, go well, I don't. I'm going to say me. I don't ever want to feel like I'm going against my pastor. <laughs> Right. Because in my former church, I know that there were things that I might not have agreed with, but I still loved her, you still know, and we have learned to disagree and operate in love and still move right. on. And still, and still move on. Yes. Yes. Because yeah. that little disagreement. Oh, so go ahead, Sister Arlene. That's okay. Now, that ain't no okay. Say what you about to say. No, I was just saying yes, you know. Oh, okay. All right. All right, because you popped up like bam. I was, oh, okay, go ahead and speak. <laughs> Pray for me. Yeah. Pray for me. Pray for me. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> she said yes. All right, <clears throat> moving forward. As we see the day the Lord of the Lord's return approaching, what are we to be even more diligent about? As we see the day of the Lord's return approaching, what are we to be more, even more diligent about? We spoke on this. Mm -hmm. We spoke on this. Matter of fact, yeah. That. Yeah. Oh. Encouraging one another. Okay. And all the more as we see the day drawing near. Okay. But it talks about um further up, not neglecting to meet together as the habit of some but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. Amen. The day. Amen. Basically, we are, we are there to encourage one another. Basically, Amen. to exhort one another. We Amen. are to... We I are like to, that word better. What? Exhort? Exhort. <laughs> we are to do that for one another. You know, it's even more beneficial to to reach out more you know we don't have to i i'm in a, I, I i have to admit i don't do it as much but you know with like reducing some of my time i noticed that i've been trying to pick that up and just to say just to you know hit somebody up hey bro how you doing you know or um we have a group text or whatever you know I, hey 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 how y'all doing you know um that's just something that we 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 should we should do. Those that we haven't seen or haven't heard from, <clears throat> I bet you it'd be a very very pleasant surprise and uplifting moment when we can 
hit someone up that we haven't seen, that we know that they should be here or should be doing this. And if we haven't seen them for a while, should hit them up. Say, hey, bro, I ain't see you in a minute. What you doing? And then I get a big old long text and we just start talking. All right, bro, you go ahead, do your thing. I just want to let you know, man, I'm here. And if we all did that as as uh, mm -hmm. just encouraging one another, it would it would help edify those that may be like um, distracted, so to speak. Amen. 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 Um, Amen. I was checking this out as Sister Fab was uh, speaking. Um, isn't it a great comfort to know that God places you in the body? Isn't that a great comfort to know yes. that God places us in the body, in His church? As it pleases him, he knows just where you fit. He promised to give you a pastor a, and spiritual leaders after his heart who will feed you. Yeah. He promised that yeah. you will flourish yeah. as you are planted, committed, and involved in a local church. I wouldn't say a local church, that and involved in triumph. It is God's desire that you become a faithful church attender for reasons greater than you can imagine. In future chapters, we will discuss in more detail how you can flourish as you find and fulfill your place in God's church. All right. Amen. Let's summarize what we've studied so far. The church is front and center, correct? Yes. All right. The church is a picture that is represented on the box to the box top of God's jigsaw puzzle, correct? Yeah. All right. We see a detailed three-dimensional living, moving, ever ever increasing, universal, and local picture of the church, correct? Yeah. This is a glorious church. This is a glorious church. A church that flows with God's manifold, manifold wisdom to the degree that the spirit world knows it. We see Christ ruling the church and causing his church to be the hub of his activity on earth. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh. We see Christ ruling the church and causing his church to be the hub of his activity on earth. So you know what that's saying? Can anyone, in a few short words, speak on that right there where I just read? Can anyone give me their take on that? We see the church ruling, we see in Christ ruling the church and causing his church to be the hub of his activity. Now, see, I'm going to underline the hub of his activity. Amen. Can anyone comment on that? Because I think that has some type of significance on where we're going. Well, well Christ came to seek those that uh, that are lost. So uh, the church is a place where souls can be saved and uh, people can be healed. And, Amen. Uh, Anything and else, Mother? Because you was flowing. You was flowing. I'm sorry. I said healed and delivered. Okay. All right. Anyone else? Well, when I think of hub, I instantly thought of like the things that we are basically doing, like the Wi-Fi thing. It's that what's the happening thing, and it's so it's so broadened that it's it, it can't even be something small. It's right. just unlimited activity that's going on. That's what when, right. when hub I think of an you know, abundance of unlimited activity going on in the earth. I got you. I got you. I got you. Any anybody else? I got you, Sister Val. I like that. Anyone else? 
Me, can I try? Yes, you may. Um, so um, as Sister Val says, um, be connected. Um, for me, it's like when you think of a hub, it's like the center. You know, okay. God is in God. God is in the, the the center of 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 everything, and it's like trying to make something or trying to put something together. And if you don't have that that main ingredients in the middle, or you don't have that main thing in the center to keep it from tilting over, keeping it from you know falling apart, then if it's not there, you know, we all gonna it's gonna crumble. It's going to crumble into a lot of pieces. It's going to break. It's going to... So for me, Hub is like God being the center of everything that we do. God is in the, in the center of our life. The decision that we make, you know, us being together in terms of church and being there for each other, encouraging each other and stuff like that. That's, that's my... That's good. That's good. You flowing. You flowing. You flowing. Anyone else? Because when I when I read that, I it made me stop. Then it made me think. Okay. Yes, Holy Spirit dropped this on me, but I want to hear what everyone else has to say. It made me hug. It was like, you know, like in Ezekiel, the will in the middle of the will, and it just held. Mm -hmm. uh, everything all around it you know he's mm -hmm. that the hub he's that mm -hmm. wheel in the middle you know that holds mm -hmm. all of it together yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes sister early you kind of flown where i'm what i'm what i'm about to say when i read this <clears throat> oh before i even cut off anyone else has anything to say about that i think everyone else spoke on on on, on this this little uh, passage right here, well, when I when I read the, the sentence, and when I read the hub, the first thing that came to me was the center. Then I had a I used uh I called a revelation on Eversource. Eversource is the place where all the electricity is being distributed from yeah. to millions to thousands of. Uh, residences, businesses, uh, anything that needed electricity. That power source. Exactly. Bam. So when it said, when it talked about the hub of his activity, of God's activity, mm -hmm. the church is the hub. And we are, we are placed in the church to be fortified, to be, to be, uh, um, uh, uh, to learn, to gain knowledge of his activity on earth. Everything that God wants, it, 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 it's the power source. It goes to the hub, which is the church that goes from the church out onto earth, on our community, in our city, in our state. We are that energy source. We are, we are the connection. Oh, Jesus, we are that connection from the hub to our community through our town, through our state, and throughout our country, that we are to spread the good news of the Amen. gospel. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. I, I just wanted to hear what others had to say, because I just thought that thing, it jumped out at me like, you know, that, you know, we do come together, we come to church, we get that, that acknowledgement, and, um, uh, that encouragement that we need, you know, um, to fortify ourselves in regards to having the word, but we don't get fat off it. We have the word to spread the good news. Amen. 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 Now, <clears throat> moving forward, we have the reading is personal application <clears throat> of the section C, but it's a lot of personal application that it, it speaks on like number like first one it speaks on do we have a church home yes triumph church why are you looking for a home church no triumph church is our home church um we've been there 
long enough to know that Triumph is a church that we get our teaching, our spiritual food from. Uh, we get fed by the chef and he sorts out each meal that we may be able to receive it, you know, enjoy it, um, to uh, marinate in the, in, in the word as the food of the spirit. We are to uh, and just take it out and, and just let know. Like we go to a new restaurant and that food is so good. We turn around and we we talk, talk to people about it. Oh, don't you know about that restaurant right around the corner? You know, we went to try it out one time and I'll tell you, that food was, woo I'll tell you, I'll let somebody else know about that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like, uh, that's like going to Brass City Bistro. Now, I had never heard of that ever, ever, until like, you know, once we started going to try it, being minister. And um, we would go there sometime, you know, or just going there periodically with everyone else. You know, I know the church has eaten there. And um, that food, the food is good. The food is good to the point where, you know, um, I would go to work and, and talk about the food and come to find out people at my job, you know, found out that they were from Waterbury and they would mention that. Oh, I know about that. Ooh, do you know about that doggone shrimp? Um, Not shrimp, lobster bisque. Lord have mercy, they got chunks in there. It ain't just the creamy taste. They have chunks in there. You know, just talking about the food. You know, um, the church is our, is our restaurant. We just talk about the chef and how well he prepares the food for us, how well that food tastes for us, you know. Um, so some of these questions that we have in the personal application is something that we can look on um, on our own because a lot of it, it talks about, you know, finding a church. Um, once we find a church, you know, we, we are asked to pray. I, I looked at it and I'm like, well, we already, we've gone through this. We've done this. We've done this before we even knew about this booklet, which is good because we would like others to, to, first of all, be in the class so they can get that, that foundation. Um, and it's not like we, we can look over a lot of this information and um, we can just, and, and, and we can just go over, you know, what we already know, but I just want to, I'm going to end it there when we spoke on the hub of his activity on earth. And I would advise you guys to read the personal application this weekend or however you, you know, you do your thing and uh, prepare yourselves for chapter two. Um, I wanna say thank you, each and every one that was on the line this morning. I wanna say thank you for your participation. I thought we was like, how they said, woo woo. You know, I thought that we was just up here. You know, it was a beautiful moment. We, oh, we, we got what chapter one was basically speaking on and we did it with, with, uh, with lust of the word. With lust of the word, with love of the word, we 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 grabbed hold to it, and we ran with it. And with each question, we we built up we built up that oneness. So on that note, what I want to do, I want to pass it back to Minister David who is the Dean of TLA and for him to give the final words and for mother, mother Marcella, look at her. What you doing over there? <laughs> what you coordinating? No, just looking at the word. I got Goodbye. you. I, I got you. All right, minister. All right. I'm glad that everybody um, participated. Um, very good intel of information. I know there's a few things that I personally picked up on that even though I read the chapter beforehand, 
still some some um, thought process uh, from from you guys um, had me thinking a different way on some of the answers that I gave. So it was really good. Um, two things to keep in mind, and I will send out notices as well. Um, at the end of chapter three, um, we will be administering a 10 question multiple choice quiz on chapters one, two, three. They're not, they're not gonna be hard. It's gonna be an open book um, um, questionnaire, but it's gonna be 10 questions. And we'll do the same thing at the end of chapter seven as well. Um, and there will be a final exam at the end of this, um, this module, um, which will be a 20 question um, open book um, uh, test. So just keep in mind, the end of chapter three. So you, you guys really, really take the time, like Deke said, and, and read, in, read inside the, uh, the, 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 the chapters, read the chapters, go over uh, the chapters, go over the uh, questions, go over the, um, the, uh, uh, the applications and stuff like that, that I have in there. And just take in the information that, they, that is there. And hopefully this, this, this is not just a, a task that you guys are doing, hopefully. And I, I, can, I, I can say that you guys are picking up on a lot of things and I and I and I'm glad and I'm glad to see that you guys are um taking it seriously and really going in and um and 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 um growing uh spiritually um with this uh with this lesson so that's all I got Deke um great session mother Marcella you want to take over in prayer Heavenly Father thank you for this word today, how we all anticipated today. And I thank you, Heavenly Father, for giving us wisdom. Give us mind, Heavenly Father. I just thank you for being there for us, Heavenly Father. Just giving us what you got to give us, Lord. I thank you for that word, that anticipation, Lord. I thank you for filling us and just cleansing us, Heavenly Father. I just thank you, Lord, for it, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All right, folks. <clears throat> Those that were on the line that you're pretty much in contact with, uh, pass along that we do have. We do have a second module. Those that have a book and that wasn't on, um, please let them know. I know I had got a couple of um, notices um, stating the fact that um, some wouldn't be on, which was good. Um, next week, uh, same time, 10 o'clock, we're going to tap into uh, uh, God's plan for your life. That'll be chapter two. Um, from here on until next week, I say God bless you to you and your family. Um, you folks stay safe, stay positive, and uh, know that God is in control. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have a good week. You guys take care. God bless. Love you guys. Yeah. We're still going to be on tonight, right? Yes. Uh, um, yeah. uh, Minister, Minister Shamika, I think what she say? Uh, She's still on. 7 yeah. o'clock? It's, it's at 7, but um, First Lady and Apostle will be on a marriage seminar. So I didn't know um, Minister David had just showed it to me. So I don't know if did you guys want to join in on that or, you know, I mean, oh, I would, no, I would no, it's Apostle. I'm sorry, y'all. Apostle said, nope, y'all go ahead and do it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Y'all can catch the replay on that, on the marriage All right. Okay. okay. We're going forward. All right. I have We're going forward. Thank what, you, time? what time? Seven? At seven, seven. yes. I'm, I'm going to send a text out, and um, I'm going to post it on the Triumph members page as well. I'm alone. All right. What are we doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see you all late. Well, every, every, um... <laughs> We have everything every what's today? What's today, y'all? The we, fourth, okay. So every fourth every Friday, fourth. we do um the I Harvest, which is where we we do a recap of all the monthly sermons that Apostle preached up until that point. And we just go over our notes together and we just edify one another through the word and through revelation. And so we had such a good time, um, Sister Narisha, last night that Sister Val said.